Hello, let's solve this using two methods. You are welcome back to my channel. Today we have an amazing square root problem to solve and we are asked to solve for x. If square root of x, square root of x, square root of x, square root of x equals 5. Okay, all right. Now, first method. Let us um, square both sides, okay? That is the first method. The second method is an amazing one. And I would like you to watch the end and see that, okay? So we have square root of x. Square root of square root of x. Then square root of square root of square root of x. And then square root of square root of square root of x, okay? Is equal to 5. Now, if we square both sides, this is what we will have, right? Okay. Now, remember that square root of x squared is equal to what? x. Okay. So, that means that this will give us, this is going to remove this, right? So, we have x, then square root of x, which is this. Then square root of square root of x and then square root of square root of x. This is what we we'll have remaining is equal to 5 squared is 25. All right, we, uh, we have to square again. Okay, so let us square again. So if we square again, we will have all. To avoid giving myself too many problems here or a large number to solve here, let's maintain this as 5 squared. So what we have here is 5 squared, all squared, okay? I'm going to do everything at once. All right. Now, remember that A multiplied by B, all squared, is equal to A squared multiplied by b squared okay so that means that this is same thing as x squared multiplied by the square root of x square root of x square root of x squared okay is equal to 5 now remember that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. So that means this will give us uh, 5 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2. All right, so we have x squared multiplied by, now this we remove this, right? So we have x, then root x, root x, is equal to 5 to the power of 4. Then remember, that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. Okay? So we are going to apply this here. We are going to apply it here. And if we do that, we have this same thing as x to the power of 1, right? So we are going to have x times x. We are going to pick 1x. And we add the powers 2 plus 1, which is 3. Okay, then we have root x, root x remaining is equal to 5 to the power of 4. All right, now we are going to square again. You know that our intention is to get x. And the only way to remove your square root anytime you see it in an equation is to square it, okay? If this is the first time you've seen this lovely channel, please hit the subscription button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss our videos at all, all right? Give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing. Thank you very much to all my subscribers, all my returning viewers. I appreciate you, okay? Shout out to us to our 100,000 amazing subscribers. I love you guys so much. Thank you for the support. For those of you that have been there all this while, may God keep blessing you for me. Thank you all. I appreciate. All right, now let us square both sides again. So if we do that, we have this squared and we have this squared, okay? So this will give us x to the power of 3 multiplied by 2. 
because it's going to be three squared okay yeah then this part squared multiplied by square root of x and then square root of x squared is equal to 5 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 so here we have x to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 which is 6 then multiplied by this we remove this and we have x root x okay is equal to 5 to the power of 8 okay we are almost there we are almost there all right so we have this is going to be we are going to solve this using the same method just like we did here so this will give us x to the power of 6 plus 1 is 7 okay then we have root x is equal to 5 to the power of 8 then we are going to square again so that we remove the last square root okay so if we square again we will have x to the power of 7 squared then root x squared is equal to 5 to the power of 8 multiplied by 2 so we have x to the power of 7 times 2 is 14 then this we remove this and we are left with just x is equal to 5 8 times 2 is 16 so this same thing as x to the power of 1 so we'll have x to the power of 14 plus 1 right is equal to 5 to the power of 16 so we have x to the power of 15 is equal to 5 to the power of 16 all right now we need to get the value of x and the only way to do that is to remove this power of 15 and the only way to remove the power of 15 is to multiply it by to raise this side to the power of 1 over 15 so because of that we are going to raise both sides of this equation to the power of 1 over 15 so if we do that we have x to the power of 15 raised to the power of 1 over 15 is equal to 5 to the power of 16 raised to the power of 1 over 15 so 15 we remove 15 and we have x is equal to 5 to the power of 16 multiplied by 1 over 15 so we have x is equal to 5 to the power of 16 over 15 and that is our x okay all right now let us solve this using the second method like i said the second method is the most interesting method okay so let's go ahead and solve this using the second method okay now for the second method um remember that this is same thing as square root of x okay before that let me write this that square root of a multiplied by b is equal to square root of a multiplied by square root of b okay so that means that you can write this as this square root of x multiplied by square root of square root of x, right? Multiplied by square root of square root of square root of x, okay? Then multiplied by 4 square root of x right square root of square root of square root of square root of x so we have this is one two three four okay is equal to five now this is the if we expand this this is exactly what we have but remember that square root of x is the same thing as x to the power of half okay so that means that we can write this as x 
to the power of half multiplied by x to the power of half raised to the power of half multiplied by x to the power of half raised to the power of half raised to the power of the third half okay then multiplied by x to the power of half raised to the power of the second root right raised to the power of half the third one then raised to the power of half the fourth one is equal to five now remember that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n therefore this is same thing as x to the power of half right multiplied by x to the power of half times half right which will give us one over four multiplied by x to the power of half times half times half one times one times one is one over two times two is four four times two is eight multiplied by x to the power of one over two times two is four four times two is eight eight times two is sixteen is equal to five all right i hope you are enjoying this yes yeah, because i am enjoying it now remember that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n so that means you are going to take one root which is x and one base which is x and we are going to add the powers okay so we have one over two plus one over four plus one over eight plus one over sixteen is equal to five so we have x to the power of now the lcm of two four eight sixteen is sixteen now when two divide sixteen we have eight eight times one is eight when four divide sixteen we have four four times one is four when eight divide sixteen we have two two times one is two and when 16 divides itself, we have 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Is equal to 5. So we have x to the power of 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. 14 plus 1 is 15. So we have 15 over 16 is equal to 5. Now to get the value of x, we are going to raise each side of this equation to the power of 16 over 15. The inverse of this, okay? So we have x to the power of 15 over 16 multiplied by 16 over 15. Okay, so we are raising it, sorry, is equal to 5 to the power of 16 over 15. Now, remember that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is a to the power of n times n. So this is same thing as x to the power of 15 over 16 multiplied by 16 over 15 is equal to 5 to the power of 16 over 15. So this, we remove this and this, we remove this. And we have that our x is 5 to the power of 16 over 15. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.